Hi, I'm Helen Winston. I'm a senior at Millard South High School. Ooh. I speak on the beat! And the beat goes to go! And uh, this is called Backpack. I lived my entire life out of my backpack. On the first day of school, my purple plastic door backpack had been stuffed so bad the zippers had strained like a dam holding back the flood. I didn't have anything useful in there, of course. But I balled up my teddy bear blankie and my stuffed owl and shoved them in there. Second grade, I was all grown up. Got my Hillary Duff bag with the wheels and the coin purse hanging from the side. No more blankie, no more owl. Six months later, I remember running to my room to hide from the lights flashing outside. Red and blue blaring like late morning sunshine through the windows. My mother staggered in. Throat raw from screaming, told me to pack as fast as I could, said we were gonna be gone a while. I remember grabbing handfuls of clothes so fast out of my drawers and cramming them in, I forgot to pack socks. I wanted to wait to use the backpack I had gotten for third grade, but in the moment it was the only thing within reach and I ripped the seam along the edge in my haste. I remember running past my dad to go outside. Beginnings of bruising along the side of his face and tears down his cheeks, it was the first time I realized domestic violence could be a two-way street. I remember not being able to use my new back backpack after that summer. When we came home, dad had moved out and got his, gotten in his own house. The seam along the edge of the zipper was frayed, as if this was a war I had gone through and I'd suffered my first casualty. My next one was a canvas one shoulder from my mom. I'd go to school with my books, pencils, and a day's change of clothes because it, I didn't have two wardrobes yet. When mom moved across the town away from dad, she wanted to keep us full time. Asked the judge for custody, I remember squeezing my bag so tight to my stomach I felt sick. In a couple of weeks while we waited for the decision, dad would slip, slip notes in with my books so mom wouldn't see. Told me that no matter what happened, he'll be my dad for all the days of his life. The notes stopped when mama told the judge she changed her mind. So I was back to being passed like a worn ball. In middle school, my secret girlfriend liked to, use, liked to draw hearts on the outside flap till all of our friends found out. I remember coming home blind with tears and drawing over them so my parents couldn't see. Cover up the queer. My last backpack is the one I've used for five years. The cell phone pocket and the pencil cases have holes in the sides of my back. Likes to swallow car keys and student IDs and quarters and vestiges of my insecurities. Four years later, I still always have a change of clothes in my backpack. Enough money for my brother and I to be able to get away for a, for a while, just long enough to keep the world from spinning too fast. I can keep us safe. My things, my brother, our world, this weight, safe.